All right, guys, and we're back with part two. What the heck? Oh, it's on. I'm about to be doing videos on video. Chucktown girl in a rock hill living and graduated from college. My channel is what you're feeling. I can do some vlogs and do some challenges. I even motivate you when your money's feeling shit. Now just tune in. I just got started. Promise make you laugh. I promise I keep it coming back to see what's new with my channel and all. It's the Ashley Show. And I'm rocking with y'all. Hey, hey, the Ashley Show. It's a, it's a, it's a, the Ashley Show. Hey, hey, the Ashley Show. It's a, it's a, it's a, the Ashley Show. That look good. It should be down a little bit more. All right, go ahead. Pick a question. Is that does that look center to you? Yeah. Exactly. Welcome back to the Ashley Show, by the way. Okay, go ahead. Oh, I didn't, I didn't say that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Do you not know my channel's called the Ashley Show? So the question is. Oh my gosh. Anyway, we are back. How could you not watch the Ashley Show? Well, I'm maybe, not really. Maybe a, do that. What? Well, I was just gonna say, I'm not really a nuts person. They're kind of drawn to me. No. You ain't? <laughs> I enjoy it. <laughs> I do. That sounds bad, though. How? Oh. Because I'm not a nuts person, but you enjoy nuts. <laughs> oh, I was wondering if you were gonna do All right. Oh, shh. Oh. <laughs> what does it say? You, be, you are so I'm excited. <laughs> this is because of your reaction. You were like, oh. Because this is my question. Oh. Okay, now this is good. Why do people have kids but don't know how to take care of, take care of them or don't want to take care of them? Um, I think having kids is easy, apparently, to like. To for, actually have them? Oh, yeah. That? No, I said like apparently, like for our society or whatever, just I guess in general, maybe back then it was easy, maybe now it's easy. Like I think. Sure, you know, they had 15 kids. Yeah. So I think the act of having kids is really easy. That's and why fun. people have them. But then and when they great. think about having to deal with a kid for 18 years until they're like on their own, they don't think that part through. They literally in the moment getting off, have a kid, right? That's a, now a financial, I don't want to say burden, but now that's like a financial burden. Now that's like another financial responsibility that you have to take care of for 18 years. And especially if that kid is not living in your house or you don't have a good relationship with the mother or whatever the circumstance is, now you got to pay child support for that long. And I just think people don't think of the consequences. Like people don't think of like the long term. People are just like, and then I think so many females, I don't know if males are like this, but they're like, oh, it's cute. Like, oh, like, babies are cute, you know? Like, I have baby fever? Yeah, like, I think babies are cute. Sure, I do but I know baby. good and well, I can't afford, you know, like, I can't afford, like, the lifestyle that I want to live right now. So how can I afford now waking up early in the mornings, now having to find child care, now dealing with this kid that I got to deal with every single day, now I got to put food in this kid's mouth. Like, I'm not worried about just me. I can go... You know, without eating, if it just comes down to it, you know what I'm saying. But now I gotta feed. I have to feed. I have to clothe. I have to find childcare for this kid. And I think people are like, "Oh, it's so cute." Right. Like, oh, I'm a mother. Like, it's this thing to be glorified, which it is. Like, I want to be a mother. Like, it is this amazing thing. But it's like, I got time. Why am I rushing to have a kid? And then to answer the other question that they don't want to take care. I guess I did answer the question. Like, maybe they just didn't realize how how like much of a responsibility it was to take care of another human being. I have nothing to say. She answered that question perfect. Ooh! Uh, <laughs> did you, you said no. No, I said okay. Oh, okay. As a disclaimer, as, as a disclaimer, <laughs> I am an AKA in your life. What they got going on? Anyway, but uh, no, it's going lie. back to that other question that you were like, oh, we never agree. But you disagree. So anyway. Yeah, you got a point. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. That. yeah. That was that was perfectly said. I mean, what the heck? Like, why are you bringing and that kid in there? I hate to say, I hate to say this, but some of us males, man, we. By the way, as a disclaimer, because we got a lot of disclaimers, right? As a disclaimer, I ain't gay. 
completely straight. <laughs> Go because, on, I'm trying to figure out why because, you do that. Because a lot of people, they'll think, like, you know, how can I say? It's hard to be a Steve Harvey or anything like that, and you take away from the males and without people thinking that you the other way. Oh, okay, okay, I guess. All right. I hope you understand. So, <laughs> as a male, it's hard to, sometimes people change. So, when you, sometimes we misread our potential future baby mama. Excuse me. So, mm-hmm. once you future have. Future wife, future mother of your child. I feel like when you say future baby mama, then you already know what's going to come with that time. Okay, I apologize. Yeah. For your. I just want to see how long. Like, go ahead. Like 17. <laughs> go on. Sometimes we misread our, you know, our people like that, which is why it's so important for us to follow the. I hate to say biblical, but for us to follow the uh, old people uh, status, which is to get together, you. Be in a relationship for a while, make sure you read each other great. Then you get married, then you move in, then you see how each other read each other, then you go ahead and have a baby after that. When you, Is it because we're so like in love that we have to like just go for the... Right. And like, let's just go ahead and go to the fifth step. Yeah. And that's just not the case uh, some or dare I say most of the time. Sometimes you do have to, proper, you do have to follow them uh, proper steps in order for you to uh, going the guidelines of where you need to go as a successful parent. Okay. So we'll talk. My turn. What are good studying habits? Good what? Studying habits. Did I make that up? Yeah, you did. Alright, so do for my mm. No. Personally, you did say you got Yes. Right. So you did do a good job. <laughs> All right, so the way me personally, I was a college athlete, um, and still made good grades in school. But it took Sam. me, huh? I wasn't considered an athlete, but I was on the dance team you for, ba- for basketball. No, we weren't considered athletes, but and I still made good grades. So, so, so with that being said, it's hard to. Maneuver your time. Right. However, it is it is doable. Now, me personally, I think it's best that as soon as you guys get out of class, you go ahead and do that specific class homework. People tend to wait till they do all five of their classes that day, or whatever the case may be, before they was to do all five homework. Go ahead and check it while it's fresh. Me personally, before shit went down, I mean, four things, I don't know what type of... I bleep it out. Okay, well... Oh, for real? We got a bleeper? <laughs> Wait, you got a bleeper? No, I mean, I, I start to, like, go on. I think shit's okay off. to say. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. So, before the shit went down, um, um, I will make, you know, as soon as I got out of class, if I got 20, even if I got, like, just 20 minutes before class, hurry up to my dorm, go ahead and do my homework, study, whatever I need to do, it, it only takes a second. Or you don't have to do the home the whole homework. Just do partial, whatever you need to do. Go to the next class. Do the same thing. That's great advice. I was not that student. I am a procrastinator. So be that. I you know, and I'm fail. not I'm not gonna say that that that's a good thing, but I'm gonna say that I still did what I had to do, you know, graduated, still made the grades. I'm just I'm not going to do the work right after class. But what I do is, I think good studying habits is, if you know which class you need to spend more time on, like pre- prioritize that time. I don't know if I, I say that word right. So it's like, even if I procrastinated when that weekend came or when that free day came where I didn't have that many classes or didn't have practice or whatever the case is, then I knew what subject I needed to start first on. You know, and then I went to the other subjects or I knew what subject I was great at. So I like knocked that out of the way and then I knew what subjects I wasn't so great at. So I think that's, you know, but as a good studying habit, form study groups. Form study groups, guys. If, if being in your dorm with your roommate isn't the best, the best habit, 
then don't be in the room with your roommate. Go to the library. Go to that study room in the dorm. Okay. Go to the study room <laughs> in the dorm. Okay. Like, um, don't be on your phone. Dedicate some time to study. And then also another thing too that yeah. they said, there's like a ratio with however many credit hours of classes, then there's a certain amount of hours that you're supposed to study for that class. But I would just say, um, shoot, I forgot where I was going with that. I think study, um, I would just study say. Study whatever you feel comfortable with. I, yeah, I think like if you know that there's a class that you really, really struggle with, then just put in the time, read over the notes. Even if studying is something really boring to you, the notes that you take in the class, read over it. That's it. That's like, like just make it seem like it's not that big of a deal. Like you're not studying for hours on end. Keep, just read over the notes that you took in class. Keep it fresh in your brain so when you go back into class, like you like remember what was last taught. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't wait before the test. Like right. study oh, through, do yeah. Like study throughout the week or study up until the test. If you give yourself piece of information like up until the test, it's much better than like trying to cram it all. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, unless it's like how unless, school you can do that shit. Yeah, unless you just remember like really really good, and then I guess you can just wing it depending on the class. But yeah, I found that easier. If it's too much information to cram in, study little by little. All right. Is it my turn? I don't know. Yeah, it's your turn. I picked the study and have it. Somebody's banging on the apartment across the room. Maybe she was out drunk with the girls and she went back home. Anyway, all right. I love it. I love it. I ain't gonna love that. I love this shit. All right, well, maybe he'll be back for more of All right. I ain't going to be back, but I'll be back. Anyway, if you could have your dream man or woman, what are the top three qualities he or she would have? Ha! <laughs> she, a big ass. No, I'm just playing. No. <laughs> top three. Oh, I got an answer? Yeah, yeah, it's because I read it. Top three qualities? I, number one, number one. Again, my life is based off being an athlete. I hate to say based off, but what? I'm an athlete. Okay. So support is the number one thing with me. No matter if you, because the reason why I mentioned that I'm an athlete, because you know you got dreams of being in the NBA, D League, whatever the case may be. And you got some people that like get real, go work at a plant or go do this, then and third. But Imagine. for me personally, I feel like support is the number one thing. Is these are these in an order, or you're just doing like top three? Like it doesn't matter what order, or like the, or support is your number one. Because I think I'm just gonna support name. Support definitely my number one. Okay, I think I'm just gonna name three. I'm gonna say this: support is my number one, but the next two is out of area. I don't know exactly where the next two okay. gonna go. I don't know the next two. So. Support. Then it comes to uh, priorities. I always say priorities is very important. Is your priorities is a quality in, that you need for? Yeah, I need a few men to have that priorities together. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Third thing. This go back to our question a couple questions ago, which is on part one. Go back and read it. I mean, go back and look at it. You go back and watch it. Are you seeing what you did? Okay. <laughs> What is your what is part one? What do we have? What do they miss? Is being spontaneous. I need somebody oh. to surprise me and keep things fresh. I do feel like that's important. That's my top three things. On top of the obvious shit, like you need to be attractive and all that. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's obvious. Good, good but and big. Top three. <laughs> you have to build your personal top three. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think my top three. Like I'm not. This is not in any order. I would say support is one thing though that I would agree on. Like no matter what I do, of course, like you gotta be realistic, I think. But if I wanna dream big and I wanna go after something what? that's not the ordinary nine to five, whatever, it's like I need support in whatever that might be. Mm -hmm. 
So if you're not going to think how my mind is thinking and we going to the top or we moving here or doing this or starting this or doing whatever, then it's like... You got to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gotta uh, get the hell out of here. Let's see. Another quality is... Um, Damn, dude, your question. You should have thought about this. I, no, I, this is was one of my friends. Oh. Provided me with this question. Um, top three quality. Shout I'm out to all the extra friends. I didn't know she had any. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like something that is like a like a must, like a, a dream guy. Like, what is a quality that I think I want? I guess I would say like family. Like, like a like you have to want oh, family. You have to like enjoy like the aspect of family. I think that's a good thing. There's a lot of people family that fam, family oriented oriented. Yeah. There's some people that just don't like their family or they do away with their family or they're okay with like not talking to their siblings, whatever the case is. Like, I like that aspect of family. I like a big family. So I think that that's good doing starting traditions and stuff like that. And then I guess the third quality would be, gosh, I don't know. This is kind of hard Yeah. to think of like three things. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, what was the first one I said? Oh, support, family, and uh, just not. <laughs> what? Oh, um, <laughs> anyway, God, what do I say? Come on, girl, we gotta get the next I know, one. I know. All right, ambitious is that that's different than what I said, right? I'm a very ambitious person, so I need somebody that has goals and I need somebody that's willing to reach them. I don't need somebody that's willing to give up and settle for like an ordinary life. If you want to be extraordinary, be ambitious. Go for your goals. Right. All right. I mean, you picked it off it. What is life like post graduation and what would you go back to school? Depending on your, depending on what you get as far as this. Uh, associates or bachelors or masters or doctrines I feel like it varies so me for example I feel like life was great after I got my degree because people look at you at a certain at a different light so depending on your business like the job I work for I can't mention that job but for example the jobs I had in the past wasn't really an established job so they're not going to look at me and say, oh, you got your degree, so I'm going to pay you more. But there are certain jobs out there that I've experienced that would say, oh, wow, you got this so-and-so degree. I'm going to put you in this this pay grade. Now, it is to a point where they look at bachelors as associates now. So it's like people got to thrive for that master's degree just to fill ahead. But I've, I've, I'm only 25. So I've only, the where I'm at in life right now, where they see me at with my degree is okay with me. It's okay with me because the, you know, the money I make now is decent. Not to live off of, of course, but you know, as I move up, they will look at me and say, oh, you got this degree, so I'm gonna give you this much and that much. And like I said, I've experienced them. Um, you know, I that Thank you so <laughs> um, Would you go back to school? Oh, I forgot about that part. Yes. I will definitely go back to school. Reason why that is, I'm sorry, she asked me to set the wrong time. Now, the reason why I will go back to school, I'm I'm a I'm real big on educating. I'm real big on self educating. But I'm also real big at being disciplined. Now the reason why I mention all that, because me personally I found it better for you to go to school. Just as I'm talking about in general. I did say personally, but in general, I feel like it's better that you go to school where you're in a learning environment versus you working, get off work, then go home and be disciplined enough to go to learn yourself. Now, hmm, let me go ahead and log in on this and this website. I got so many uh, educational apps on my phone. But I don't do it because I'm not, I ain't gonna lie, I'm not disciplined enough. But I'm very strict on self educated, but I'm just not there yet. Um, but I, I would definitely go back to school if I had to. And plus, I love, I love being around basketball. Life after graduation is fine. I mean, like, I've 
gotten jobs and stuff like I know a lot of people like oh they can't find work and stuff I mean the only thing that I would say is like I never thought that I would be the one that like go to school for a certain degree and then like now doing something that has totally nothing to do with my degree oh, I hate that shit yeah I like do at shit. first like no like at first like people were they looked at it as a bad thing like oh you went to school for this and now you're not doing anything in your degree was it a waste it but is. I look at it, yeah, but like, if you think about it, I'm not doing, I went to school for human development and family studies. I was going to use that to go into counseling, but my passion is dance and I'm dancing now. So I use, I'm using my degree to fall back on because dance is not like necessarily a consistent okay. yeah. career, you know? So I don't think it was a waste of time. I still got that college experience. I still got my education. I still have a degree to fall back on to get a job in that if I want. I don't necessarily think I need to go to college for dance. Or go to college, you know, for acting. Not to, like, shame anybody who went to, like, Juilliard or whatever other acting schools out there. Because I think it does help. But, you know, like, I think it's kind of like you can get coached outside of college for that. So I went to college for something that I can't really get coached on. Which is the degree that I have in, like, human development. Right. So, yeah. And then, um, what was the other question? Would I go Would back to go school? Back. Mm -hmm. Right now, no. If I can make a living and get paid well without having to go back to school, then I'm not going to. Um, so right now, no. I don't want to pay money to go back to school. You know, I ain't think that thought that that part through you right now. <laughs> yeah, but um, but, maybe later on in life, yeah. But right now, I don't see that there's a need to. But me and my cousin were just talking. But and we vote for the right president. You might have to worry about that tuition. Woo. So just stay away as far as the government. Please stay away as far as the government. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just going to use this small but, but necessary platform to say, please, please be aware of the government. And you might get shut down for me saying that. But what would you mean? Like don't work for it or just? Be aware. Oh, okay. Whether if it's presidency. You said small but, but necessary. necessary platform. Oh, you got that? Small. I think you heard that. Some point, all right, so before I get in trouble, folks. <laughs> Should we like do a part three? I feel like there's not much to edit in this video, and it's already like twenty something minutes. Should we do a part three, or should we keep sure, going? Sure, we can do a part three. <gasps> like end it, and job. then you part three. This is my job. Thank you for speaking that into existence. Uh, I'm soon gonna get paid from you too. Thank you. Maybe, maybe we reach out to the right people. Yeah. But I probably just fucked you up. I was talking about the government. <laughs> hey, talk Should about I... the government. Yeah, you might need to blend that out. No, don't blend that out. Hey, we just covered a lot of ground. We we covered, for these little bit of questions, we cover a lot. Yeah, pretty much so covered like, life all together. Have... We know. <laughs> yeah, let them do a part three. All right. <laughs> so we're going to do a part three. <laughs> Thank you. Be sure to. Subscribe to shit. Now, make sure you subscribe and everything you need to do to support this young lady. Comment like and share Goodbye. hey the asher show it's the it's the it's the the asher show